I am Astyanax Kanakakis. I am the CEO and co-founder of Norblock. I'm Greek uh, in origin, ethnicity. I was born in Greece. I studied in the UK, then worked in Germany and Greece before moving to the US to study again and then end up in Sweden. So basically I spent the last 10 years of my life in Sweden. Uh, what attracted me to Dubai is actually quite a few things. So while I spent quite a lot of years of my years in Sweden in McKinsey and during that time I would do a lot of projects actually here in the region. So for me it was a region that I was always interested in and also I had a, let's say a certain affinity towards. Now what happened is that when we started Norblock, Norblock is a company that does regulatory applications for financial institutions on blockchain platforms. And Dubai is actually a region that was very vocal around using the technology for governmental purposes, for financial services purposes, etc. So for me it was a no-brainer to actually approach the region and see whether it would make sense for us to come here and establish an operation here in Dubai. When I learned about Accelerator at DFC, for me it was a no-brainer to apply because DFC is probably the premier financial center in the region. So for me it would make a lot of sense to start from here to expand the region. The whole effort here was instrumental in actually getting access to all the key stakeholders in the region, especially when it comes to large financial institutions. So this is where DIFC was actually instrumental in assisting me uh, gain access to the key people. Coming to the region, it's very important to actually have someone to guide you around all the nuances of doing business in the region. The focus is in geographical focus, is in Europe and Middle East. And UAE fits very well, not only in the Middle Eastern part, but actually on a global scale as well, because the thinking it's, uh, in this region is so, so forward, uh, so forward thinking as a culture and also as a country. But basically whatever we do here is a reference case for us to go both to Europe, but also in the US and other jurisdictions. So I would say that current focus is Europe and Middle East, but what we do here in Dubai is relevant globally. And I have to say that it's a very young population, it's a very active population. So if you're looking to come here and immediately create a social circle and start becoming part of the city, it's one of the easiest cities actually. How do we come up with the idea in Norblock to focus on KYC? Three individuals, myself, Sam and Vitaly, the three co-founders of Norblock, we were working with blockchain technology. Now, this technology can be applied in so many segments and really can revolutionize many segments in what we see everywhere around us. But the key problem for us actually to find the problem to solve. So what we did is that we talked to banks and we, what we proposed to them, and it worked very well, we told them, let's have a workshop. We're going to spend two hours explaining what this thing called blockchain is and then you tell us what problems that you face can actually solve. We ran this exercise and this is when we found out around KYC. Before that we didn't even know what KYC is. So essentially KYC or Know Your Customer kept coming up over and over again in all these workshops. We looked into greater detail in how this is relevant to blockchain technology and we found out that it has two main problems. The first problem of KYC is that it's done in silos between financial institutions, so there's a lot of duplication of efforts. Another thing is that there is no immutable ledger of actions and something that's actually regulatory sensitive. These two problems blockchain technology can solve very easily, hence our focus in that sector. When we started, the price of Bitcoin was around $200. When we started, we were giving out as, you know, let's say instead of business cards, as a token of the company, these small fake coins that essentially would be a wallet, Bitcoin wallet, with 0.1 Bitcoins. It's one of them. Now, to give you, to put this in perspective, last December, this would be worth around $2,000 each. And we're just handing out $2,000 to people. So, no, it was very early days for a Bitcoin and blockchain at the time. 